Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to find this angle, theta, in this right angled triangle here. So the first thing we're going to do is we notice that it's a right angled triangle. So we should think, ah, let's label our sides. So this side is the hypotenuse. We can see it's the longest side. I'm going to write here H for hypotenuse. And now the other side, which we know is 15 centimeters, I'm going to look at the angle, the unknown angle, and let's compare it. And this one is, is it the opposite or is it the adjacent? It's the opposite. So I'm going to write opposite there. And the goal is to find the angle. Now you think, all right, opposite and hypotenuse, it's going to be one of these three formulas which we looked at earlier. Which one has the two sides we've got? Which one has opposite and hypotenuse? Let's see. It is the top one. It is the sine formula. So I'm going to copy it down onto my book. There we go. So the next step is now to put in the numbers 15 and 20 into where they go in this formula. The opposite is 15. So that goes on the top line. And the hypotenuse is 20. That goes on the bottom line. So now we want to find the angle. So earlier we said to find the angle, use inverse sine. So that's what we're going to do. Let me first figure out um, where my calculator is. There we go. So we said we want to find the angle. We're going to use inverse sine. So let's check my screen. I can see the negative one. That's good. And whatever that was equal to, that's what I'm going to type in here. 15 over 20. So the calculator is going to work backwards to find the angle and it tells me it's 48.6 degrees. So the angle was 48.6 degrees. Okay. Now when you do your working out in your book, whatever we typed into our calculator, that's what we have to write down. So in your working out, you should write this. You would write sine inverse bracket 15 over 20 and then you would write the angle that it equals. And there we go. We have found our angle in this triangle. 